Yeah, I wanted to talk about sell out black people. Now, I remember when I was at my last job, I was a supervisor and I got to know a lot of people. Well, everyone on my construction site knew me because I was an important person, not trying to blow my own trumpet, but my job role was really important. And I started to know a lot of people on other teams. And at lunchtime, I used to sit down with some of the older black men who were electricians, but they weren't on my team. So I didn't supervise them. I didn't manage them. They were just electricians on another team. And got talking to these older black men. It's good to talk to older people, obviously, because you can they can teach you stuff. You know, we were talking about business and property and that. And this guy is actually kind of like a secret millionaire. Um, he's got lots of properties, drives a nice car. He don't need to work. He's all taking home a grand, a grand and a bit a week. And that's just basically petrol for his M4. Anyway, whilst we was talking, he was telling me about the area that he lives in now. And he bought a plot of land in this area and he built his own house from scratch. Yeah? So from the first brick in the ground, in the foundation, the man built his own house. And yeah, he said he lives in South East London, Greenwich side. Well, okay, whereabouts? So he said Blackheath. Now, I've heard of Blackheath before, and I didn't really know much about the area. So he was describing the area saying, yeah, it's a lovely little area. It's basically a village within London and that proper bigging up the area and that. He even compared it to Hampstead. He said it ain't at the same tier as Hampstead. If you don't know Hampstead Heath in Northwest London, it's not exactly the same caliber, but it's kind of like that, right? Because Hampstead Heath is almost like a little village as well. Maybe people can call it. Anyway talking about the area, I was talking about, oh, you know, show, man showing me pictures of his house and that, showing me pictures of the pub that he goes to. It's a black man, yeah? Show me the pictures of the pub that he goes to. Then he said a statement that always will forever stick with me. He said, yeah, you know, these are the, you know, good bits about the area and stuff like that. And he said, best of all, no brothers. So basically he said, best of all, no black people. I was gobsmacked. I was like, rah. This is what happens. Eh? There's certain black people out here. They forget where they come from. Now, I'm not going to go too deep in this video because this is the kind of video I need to make my notes about. But I'm just going to touch on it briefly. When I do make a proper video about this, I'm going to go in. There's certain black people. They forget where they come from. They forget that they're from Tottenham, Hackney, Peckham, Brixton, Edmonton. They get a bit of money, then they move to a nice area. Man are having amnesia. Man are actually having amnesia. They forget where they come from. They get money, they buy a decent property or whatever. And when they return back to the ends where they grew up, probably where their mum's house is still dotted, they act like they're posh. They act like they're middle class now, all of a sudden, because they've moved to a nice area. What kind of madness is that? You know, there's people, right? They, and I was talking about this yesterday in one of my videos, I made a video about London and living in Northampton. I don't know when I'm going to release it. I'll release it in a couple of days now that I've mentioned it. I think that video is a banger still. There's some people, say for example, someone like me, right? They would live in Edmonton, yeah? a poor broke area. Yeah? The hood, yeah, the ends. They get a little bit of money or whatever. They save their money. They're smart with their money. They buy a property in a mediocre area, quay away, yeah, outside of London. Yeah? They might not go as far as me. They might go somewhere like Essex, Basildon, them kind of areas there. Yeah? They will act like the place that they live is a nice, posh area or is way better than Edmonton. And they will fool the people who are ignorant, who don't know that the area that they live in is actually kind of like a shithole. They will fool the people that they're talking to and that, like, yeah, you know, I've got money now. I bought this property out here. When really and truly the area that they live in is a broke area, just like the area that they come from, like Edmonton. 
it's the same kind of broke shit that you know it's the same kind of environment that they live in but it's just somewhere else and what they will do is they will pretend that yeah oh, you know their area is really nice and that because they know no one's going to investigate where they live this is how some this is how the fake people pull the mask pull the blinds pull the wall over people's eyes can't do that to me can't do that to me that's like me Pretending that, oh, you know, I live in this uh, amazing three bed house in Northampton and stuff in the area somewhere. Where I live in Northampton is exactly the same as Edmonton, in North London. It's a broke area. I would never even try and pretend that, oh, yeah, you know, it's a really nice area. It's just not as bad. It's not a bad area or whatever, isn't it? It's just a broke area. It's just a humble area, isn't it? Yeah. There's no way that I could try and pretend that I'm upper class now or I've got money now just because I never forget where I come from. I know man, I know man from Edmonton who's moved out and stuff and now, you know, I met a girl before, she said, oh yeah, I used to live in Edmonton, like I was speaking to her outside of her mum's house and she was like, yeah, this is my mum's house, whatever, I live in Essex now and stuff and she thinks she's that stupidness, man. Never forget where you come from. Me. Man pledge allegiance. I will always be an Edmontonian. Never forget where I come from. Never forget where I come from. Never try and pull a wall over anyone's eyes. Even if I become a millionaire. Even if yeah, I live in a mansion out in the Cotswolds, which uh, you know, man striving for. I will still be a road man from Edmonton. Just not a criminal. Yeah? I'll always be street smart and that. Uh, but I'll always be from Edmonton.